What's up guys, it's TJ and in this video I'm going to show you how to update your Gala Games nodes. Alright, so I have a Founders node, I've seen all these emails, everybody's been commenting, hey, are we going to get a video on how to update the node? So I'm super busy, life is crazy, but I wanted to take a minute to show you guys how to do it. So might not be the cleanest video, might not be the most edited and perfect video, but I want to take the time to show you step by step and start to finish how to get it going. So. Let's dive in. All right, so you guys can see my node is online. Uh, it really wasn't that bad. The update's pretty simple. You just gotta know what to type in and when to do it, where to do it. So let's talk about how I did mine uh, and the steps to upgrade your node. So most of you guys probably seen my original video on how to set up a Gala Games node on VPS. So we use Volter. So this code will work on you know, whatever VPS you're using to run it. So the steps will be the same, um, but if you're not using a VPS or you just wanna start from scratch, um, like I'm about to do, to make sure it all works right the first time, then you can use the link in the description to set up your Volter um, server. So click that link, we're gonna open it up. And basically what I did is I'm just gonna create a new server and then delete the old server, all right? And let's go ahead and kick that off. So you're just gonna hit products, we're gonna hit the plus sign here, Deploy new server. All right. <clears throat> so um, if you don't want to start from scratch, there is a um, uninstall the version two software that you have to run first. So you have the, the first step of um, starting the up where, uh, software update is that you have to make sure you're not running the uh, old version of the software. So here's your lines of code that you gotta run. Um, gotta run this one if you're on something older than 2.3.9. Then you need to run this to delete the current node software and then re restart the node with sudo reboot. Sudo reboot. Um, so I didn't wanna fool with any of that. So I was like, hey, I'm just gonna start from scratch. So that's what I'm doing. Um, but if you prefer not to, just run all these lines of code. Once you've done that, that'll clean the server. You'll be starting from scratch and you'll pick up um, right here where we're about to start. So you can pause right here, do that if you like. What I'm doing, I'm gonna start a whole new server, just delete the old one. No big deal, it'll be up and running in less than 10 minutes. So, all right, here we go. So gonna start a new server, all right? We're doing cloud compute. AMD is not compatible, so we need to choose an Intel processor. We'll go on regular performance. Just choose any of these, it don't matter. Pick something that's close to you. Atlanta is closest to me, so I'm going to choose that. All right, so it says that you have to choose Ubuntu, so we're going that. Technically, you can choose between that or Windows 11 Home. This is what most people use. That's what I'm using. All right, so right here, you have to make sure you choose 20.04. All right, so we're choosing that. Server size. All right, so your software requirements... This is what they're asking you to basically make sure your server can do. So they want it to have two cores, four gigs of RAM, 60 gigs of disk space. So this is basically the first one that is running two CPUs. So this is really what they're gonna want you to choose. Um, now, from what I've heard, you're not really using, um, you know, you're not maxing this out or anything right now. There's not a whole lot of games running, so I have heard of people using this one but this is what is recommended. All right, so 20 bucks a month. All right, now we're gonna scroll down. I'm gonna turn this off. I don't need no auto backup for $4. This was defaulted, checked on, whenever I set mine up. You need to make sure that's off. Uh, IPv6 is not compatible, that's not gonna work. It's gonna mess you up if this box is checked, so make sure that's turned off. All right, now you can just create um, the name. So I still had my old server up. So whenever I made mine, I just put, you know, new founders node one uh, as mine. I have already done this part. So for me, um, I'll take off the word new. That way they're not named the same. All right. So just doing a mock up for you guys so you can see the step by step. All right. So you can double check your settings. All right. Cloud compute, regular performance, Intel. Got Atlanta chosen for me. All right, make sure you choose Ubuntu. You're gonna check uh, 20.04 right there. Need the $20 a month plan. Make sure this is turned off and that backup is turned off. All right, get your name in there and now you're gonna hit deploy. 
Well, all right. So for this, I am, you know, I don't care what numbers are shown or anything like that because this is not my real server. Um, like I said, I already have mine up. So once you, you do that and you create your server, it's going to go through this uh, installing phase. All right. This probably takes, you know, five to ten minutes easily. So I'll show you guys what to do and how you'll know when it's done. All right, so this is probably the longest part out of this whole process is just waiting for your your server to, uh, you know, install and set up so that you can type in the code that you need to get everything up and running. So uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, wait for this to finish. As soon as this goes from installing to running, we'll be able to click on this. And then we can open up the console console where you'll be able to write. Uh, write the code. All right, now it says running. So let's go ahead and click on that. So like I said, this isn't my real server, so I don't really care if you see the IP address and all that good stuff. But everything is set up. Now we're going to go to view console right here. And this is really where all the magic happens. So we'll let this connect. Like I said, since we set up a new server, it's going to take five to ten minutes for this to really really be done so when you finally open this up you'll see all of these lines of code that are just rolling through right so it's continuing to finish everything so basically once everything stops moving then you'll see I think like it'll say login at the very bottom um, that's how we'll know we're good to start typing code so we'll wait for this to finish and uh, we'll fast forward through this part but like I said it could be five to ten minutes uh, for that part to finish All right, I think it is done. Um, so it's kind of hard to see where my mouse is, like top right corner right now, you get this little dot. So it's pretty hard, especially when you start going over like letters. But down here at the bottom, um, the bottom left, you see the two words, okay. So it says finished. Uh, now we can execute the cloud user final scripts, you know, reach the target cloud init. So uh, that means that it is done. So now I'm gonna hit enter. And when I hit enter, you can see it says founders node one login. Um, you know, sometimes it just says login, but now basically we can connect to the server. So what you can do is you're going to use your username, which is root, and you're going to use your password. All right. So we're going to type in root, hit enter. Now once the password, go back to this screen, hit copy password. And this is going to be your best friend. You're going to hit this little arrow, hit the clipboard, and you're going to paste into here. And then when you paste into here, you still have to click the word paste. All right. Now you're not going to see this cursor move at all because it doesn't move with the password. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to click back onto the black screen. So you'll see this kind of fade out whenever I click onto the screen. And then once you've clicked onto the screen, you can hit the enter key. And then you'll see that kind of pop up. We'll get rid of this for a second. So you can kind of see right here where we logged in, put the password in, now it says welcome, and everything is running. So now it says root at founders node one, and we have where we can start putting in commands. All right, so first things first. So it says open the terminal. Uh, for Ubuntu installation and enter sudo need restore you know I don't want to I'm not gonna read them all but basically what we're gonna keep doing is we're just gonna copy this and you can click the link in the description and grab uh, this document so that you can just copy paste so we're gonna copy switch back over and we'll leave this uh, clipboard open and you know you can right click and paste you can you know command V however you want to do it. All right, so hit paste. Now we're going to click the paste button as well. That pastes the code in here. As soon as it gets all the way done, you know, you can, if I hit enter right now, nothing happens. So you got to make sure you click on the screen, like the black screen, and then hit enter. And then you'll see the code get executed. All right, so now the code got executed. You'll let that run. As soon as it stops, it'll say root at founders node one again, you know, whatever you named yours. All right, so swap back over, go to the next step. So this will ensure the computer has the latest package list for installing the programs. 
All right, that's what we just did. All right, now we're gonna go right here. All right, copy, paste. Gonna click the paste button. All right, click off the screen, hit enter. All right, we'll let that load. All right, got a little progress bar here. Almost done. All right, perfect. Got our word that we look for, and so that means we're good. All right, after running that installation, enter this command to see the status. So we're gonna copy this, paste that in. Once it's done, click off, hit return, or the enter key. All right, so make this go away for just a second. You can see it says active and running, so that means we are good to go. All right, now it says press Q, or control C and enter to exit this status menu. Uh, it says if it's not in active status, use this command to start it. So you only run this if it doesn't say active. All right, R says active, so we're good to go. So uh, first we need to hit Q. So we'll come back up here, we'll click on the screen and we'll hit Q. All right, when I hit Q, now you can see it says root at founders node one again. So that means we're good. All right, so we're going to download the Gala software. Here we go. So we're going to highlight all that, copy, open our clipboard back up, paste that in there, click the paste button, wait for it to finish typing out, click on the screen, hit return. All right, next step. So it downloads a file named uh, gala-node version and then whatever the number looks like. Um, so make sure that you update the version number on this next line of code. So this is the line of code that we're going for. So what I did is I just highlighted this example code right here instead. That way you already have the numbers in there. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, put our numbers in there. So you can see right here on the bottom left right here this line of code uh, it says version 3.2.2. .2. All right, so we're going to hit paste. We're going to change. All right, we got the three point in there. Three point. This is a two. It's at 3.2 point. I'm going to change this to a two. All right. 3.2.2. And .2. make sure it has the point after it, just like that. All right hit the paste button. Just gonna type it in there, click off the screen, hit enter. All right, good deal. Next step. So this runs the installation script. So copy, paste, click the paste button. Click off the screen, hit enter. All right, do you accept the end user agreement? All right, so read the user license agreement, type Y and press enter to accept. All right, so we're gonna click on the screen down here. We're gonna press, oops, gonna press Y. So you got the Y right there and I'm gonna hit enter. All right, now we're installing. Installation complete and we have our root Founders node, so that means we're ready for the next step. All right, so after successfully installing the uh, node software, an API key is needed. So what you're gonna do is go to your Gala games. So when you click this, you see the stuff we've always seen. So my node's on line one. Um, so what you need to do is click on your username right here, click account, and go right here to node info that's going to open up this dashboard. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to click um, API key, generate API key, and we're going to name this. So uh, we'll just type in the same thing we put, founders node one, hit create, and boom, now you have 
your API key. So what I'm going to do is actually highlight this only, paste it, and then make sure you put that space. All right, go back, copy our API key. Remember to have a space in between. All right, paste that. Now click the paste button, and we'll let that type out. Perfect. Successfully added. All right. Good deal. All right, so now we're going to type in um, pseudo gala node licenses. So we'll copy this. So based on what kind of nodes you have, this will give us the different workloads. So we'll paste this in here, click off the screen, hit enter. All right, so you can see underneath it just says founders. So that was the available workloads. So you're going to basically run this code right here and look at the example. Um, you know, so whatever kind of node you're setting up, you're going to put that in this right here. So mine's just going to be founders. So I'll just leave it as founders. Hit paste, click off and enter. All right. It says set workloads and refer to that example um, right there. So it's just a space player, space town star. If you had a founders, a player and a town star node. All right. So highlight this gala node start. Paste that in there, click off, hit enter. It says starting node. All right, we'll let this load, almost done. All right, now it says gala node created. All right, we're back to our word root. All right, now we just need to check the status. Right, grab that, paste it in here, click paste, click off the screen, hit enter. So it says it may take up to 10 minutes for this node to start. All right, so we'll give it just a second. So you can see the status actually says container creating. Um, so we'll run it again here in a second and we'll um, we'll look for it to say active, or not active, sorry. Look for it to say running. All right, let's go ahead and try it again. Paste, click off. All right, cool. So now you can see workload status, uh, founders node, and the status is running. So. Boom, that is it. Once it says running, you are all done. All right. So it says, it says I had two nodes online, of course, because I had both instances running. Um, so what we'll do now is go back to Volter, and you can see my old founders node and then my new, my new founders node. So we're just gonna click on the dots and click server destroy. That gets rid of the old server because now we have the new one set up. Are you sure you want to destroy the server? Yes. Destroy server. All right. Good deal. All right, so now it says just one node online. So yeah, got the green means online. So it might take a second to turn green. Um, all right, guys. Well, I'm glad I can help you set up your node and get it updated. If this video helped you out, please give it a thumbs up because that's how YouTube knows to share with more people. And I know a lot of people are going to be looking for how to update their nodes. So I appreciate you guys doing this. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, we're going through a lot, but I, uh, I definitely intend to keep keep stuff like this uh, updated. So if you guys ever need anything, I'll be here. Drop me some comments if there's anything else you guys need to see. Love you guys. Until next time.